In today's video, we're going to try a different kind of test with the Mossberg Patriot Predator. So this is a synthetic stock rifle, and I've been kind of interested on how the torque on the action screws will change the performance and the accuracy. So, so far, I've been running at about, I think about 40 to 50 inch pounds, and I've been getting, you know, a little bit over an inch groups at 100 yards. So what I'm going to try today is I'm going to try four different torque settings, starting at 25, going up by 10. So 25, 35, 45, and 55 inch pounds on the action screws. I've already loaded up 19 rounds here. We'll shoot three five-shot groups and then one four-shot group because that's the brass that I have right now. We're going to use a load that we know kind of shoots around an inch or just over, 140 grain match burner with IMR 4350 and the BR2 primer. So the method I'm going to use today is going to be consistent with all. I'm going to go ahead, give the butt of the rifle two hits, turn my torque wrench up, 25 inch pounds, till it clicks on the front one, and then on the back one. I'm going to do that with all the settings today. I'm just going to progressively tighten it. I'm not going to take this stock all the way off. So I've got this torque down to 25 inch pounds right now. We're going to go out on the range, shoot five shots, bump the torque up to 35, shoot five shots, so on and so forth. Hopefully we get some definite results and then I can go ahead forward with this torque setting. All right, let's get out to the range. Let's see what happens. All right, so we're out here on the range. Uh, the way this is going to work is I'm going to shoot five shots, then I'm going to let the barrel pull back down, and then I'm going to change the torque setting, shoot five more shots. We're going to do that um, until we run out of ammo here. Okay. So we're going to start out at that 25 inch pounds. Barrel is cold. I've got five rounds loaded into the magazine. The target is at 100 yards. The circles on the target are two inches. We're going to shoot from left to right. We're going to let the gun cool down. We'll change the torque specs. All right, now that the barrel's cooled back down, I'm going to take this gun, torque it down to 35 inch pounds. Apparently, 25 wasn't a good number. Looks like the group pretty well sucks over there. 35. Two taps on the butt. There we go. All right, let's see how 35 goes. I really probably should make a scope adjustment. I really don't want to. I want to see if there's a point of impact shift as well. So we're just gonna kind of live with a messy target, I guess. Okay, 
I didn't want to do this, but I'm going to make it. I'm going to go ahead and make a, a scope adjustment. Try to get that a little bit more centered. So we're going to come over. We're going to come to the right point eight. I'm going to go ahead and bump the torque wrench up to 45. And then we'll shoot another five here. And 45. Two taps. Always on the front one first. And we'll load some more rounds in here and see what happens. Let the barrel cool down one more time. All right, so we had some issues there. Uh, we'll talk about it on the bench. The uh, front uh, action screw there is torqued to 55 pounds. The rear one is only torqued to 35 pounds because uh, we, we've cracked a, a piece that holds the magazine in here. So. Go check it out. All right, so I'm back at the bench and here's some close-up pictures. There's a magazine guide on this gun that's made out of plastic and it appears as if on the rear screw um, the 55 inch-pounds of torque was just too much and we've cracked that there. So I noticed that um, out on the range. Now we're back at the bench and here's the issue. So next thing here, this is a close-up of with it mounted up to the gun. The rear action screw, there's a little bit of space, maybe a little bit more than a quarter inch, where you can see the screw or the action screw protruding. And this doesn't seem right to me. This seems as if we're going to add too much stress to that plastic as we tighten down the screw. It's just going to spread the plastic apart. So an issue with the Mossberg Patriot Predator kind of looks like it might be an issue. So here's an additional picture where you can see that little hairline crack kind of goes from that screw and down towards the bottom. This kind of wraps around the magazine, causes issues with the magazine fitment. So that's why I had to single feed the last groups here. Moving over to the accuracy, the 25 inch pound was our worst group at 3.260 inches. Our best group was 35 inch pounds at 1.147. The 45 inch pound group was at 1.368 and the 55 inch pound group was 1.661. So this kind of gives us a definite result. That 35 to 40 inch pound range is kind of the best range we found today. However, that gap between the magazine guide and the barrel is of concern to me. I think that's going to hamper some of our accuracy long term. I've reached out to Mossberg, kind of get some ideas what they have, and then we'll see what happens. Because I don't think that's going to provide us the best accuracy, having that little bit of a gap with that exposed screw. So I'll let you guys know what Mossberg says and what I end up doing in the next video. All right. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.